dragonets. Does a dragonet breathe fire? No, a dragonet gets its name from its brightly colored frilly fins that make it look like a Chinese paper dragon. Slime alert. Sometimes a dragonet clocks itself, cloaks itself into a stinky slime to stop it from being eaten, walking on water. A dragonet swims along the bottom of the sea. Its fast moving fins make it look as though it's walking on the sea floor. Big, big yourself up. A male dragonet has a long spine on his back that he sticks up to make himself look bigger. Fantastic moves. A male dragonet performs special frilly fin dance to attract a female. Tiny dragon. A mandarin dragonet is only two inches long, like all dragonets, has thick skin instead of scales to protect it from sharp, sharp rocks. Sea snakes. How can snake live? How can a snake live underwater? A sea snake is very good at swimming. It has a float tail or a flat tail that is that is uses like an oar to help it swim quickly through the water. It has to come up for air, but can hold its breath for a long time underwater. A sea snake sheds its skin every two to six weeks to get rid of barnacles that grow on its body. Can you find an eel? It has a long ribbon-like fin along its whole body. Salty spit. A sea snake filters out salt from its blood and spits it back into the sea. Rings of danger. Sometimes a sea snake has colorful rings on its body that say, I'm poisonous. Deep sea fish. What do deep sea fish have in common? Deep sea fish look very strange. They live in the cold, dark bottom of the sea and have to survive under the weight of tons of water pressing down on them from above. There is very little food or oxygen, so deep sea fish have adopted in, adapted in special ways. Angel fish. A female angler fish has a light bulb hanging from her head. When other fish swim up to investigate, she snaps them up. Ogre fish. This fish has long, sharp fangs that point inwards to stop its prey from escaping. It looks scary, but can only grow up to six inches long. Gulper eel. The gulper eel has a big mouth and stretchy stomach to catch as much food as possible. Blobfish. A blobfish has a squashy body that is compressed into a blob under the pressure from above. Swordfish. Does a swordfish have a sword? A swordfish nose is sharp and pointy like a sword. It uses it, slash and st it uses it to slash and stun its prey. It can even use it like a knife to cut food into smaller bits. Sunseeker. A swordfish loves to bask in the shallow water and soak up the warm sunshine. Toothless wonder. When a baby swordfish grows, grows up, it loses all of its teeth. Sword aboard. A swordfish can be strong and aggressive. It can even pierce through a hole of a boat. One fast fish. A swordfish can swim at up to 50 miles per hour. It is one of the top 10 fastest fish in the world. Rays. Does a ray make electricity? There are many types of rays. Only electric rays make electricity in their bodies. They use their electricity to shock predators and prey and to send messages. Water wings. A ray has huge wing-like fins. When it flaps them, it looks as though it's flying underwater. Ray wash while you wait. A manta ray often visits cleaning stations where other fish eat its dead skin. Stingrays. A stingray has poisonous spines in the middle of its tail. It uses them to catch other fish for dinner. Breathing back up. A ray breathes through gills under its body. When it lies on the sand, they are covered up so it breathes through backup holes on its head. Coral reef fish. Is a coral an animal or a plant? A coral is a type of animal. When there are lots of them all together, they make an underwater forest called a reef. Plants grow here too. Reefs are home to many types of special fish. Parrotfish. A parrotfish uses its beak-like mouth to scrape tasty algae off stones and coral. Clownfish. A clownfish lives in sea, inside a sea anemone. The anemone's stinging tentacles guard the clownfish when it's inside its home. Surgeon fish. A surgeon fish has spines that are as sharp as knives on its tail. It uses them to spike its enemies. Boxfish. A boxfish, boxfish is square. Its bones are rigid like a suit of armor so it can't move quickly. Other fish find boxfish too hard to eat. Lionfish. A lionfish has colorful stripes that say I'm poisonous to bigger fish that might try and eat them. 
tuna. How many tins can one tuna fill? A bluefin tuna can live for 40 years, grow up to 10 feet long, and weigh more than a horse. It could fill more than 5,500 tins. Torpedo tuna. A tuna has a super streamlined body which helps it glide through the water. All by myself. A tuna has no home. It spends every day of its life swimming across different oceans. Pliny in the tank. A tuna is a strong and muscular fish. It can swim very fast for a long time and cover big distances. What does a tuna have in its sandwich? As a carnivore, a tuna also likes to eat fish for lunch. Penguins. Why don't penguins freeze? A penguin has a thick layer of fat all over its body that keeps it warm. A penguin parent to be stops its egg from freezing by balancing it on its feet. Black and white and hard to spot. A penguin is camouflaged in swimming. It looks dark like the sea from above and pale like the sky from below. What's a grind? A penguin swallows rocks and pebbles to help it grind up food inside its stomach. Underwater acrobat. A penguin can't fly like other birds, but it flies along gracefully underwater. Heavy bones. A penguin has heavy bones that will help it dive underwater. Pufferfish. What makes a pufferfish puff? A pufferfish is slow, so it can't get out of the way of predators very quickly. To, pu to put off hungry passerbyers, it takes in lots of water and expands into a spiky ball, a fish without scales. A pufferfish has thick, stretchy skin and sc instead of scales. Toothy can openers. Beak-like teeth help a pufferfish to prize open mussels and clamshells. In the blink of an eye, a pufferfish is the only fish that can blink. Its eyes can also move in two directions at once. Most poisonous fish in the world. The pufferfish is also the second most poisonous animal after the poison dart frog. Dolphins. Why do dolphins jump out of the sea? A dolphin is very clever and loves to play. It enjoys racing others and seeing who can make the biggest splash. A spinner dolphin can turn seven times in the air. Smell I never. A dolphin breathes through a hole at the top of its head. It is like a nostril, but a dolphin has no sense of smell. Can you spot something that doesn't belong in this habitat? Hearing things. Instead of ears, a dolphin hears by feeling vibrations through its head and jaw bones. Dolphin clicks. A dolphin talks to its friends by making clicking sounds underwater. Half asleep. A dolphin sleeps by resting one half of its brain at a time. Tide pools. What can you find on the beach? When the tide goes out, tide pools are left behind. They are a good place to look for creatures who like warm, shallow water. Here are some of the top things you can spot at the beach. Barnacle. A barnacle can come in all kinds of colors. It has a hard shell and sticks to rocks, boats, and whales. Butterfish. This fish is as slippery as butter. It is long and wriggly and covered in spots. Sea anemone. An an anemone looks like a flower, but is actually an animal. It is pretty, but has a nasty sting. Muscle. A muscle clings to rocks with its hairy beard. It opens underwater and closes in the air. Starfish. A starfish isn't a fish at all. They can have up to 40 arms and has no blood. Lemon sea slug. This sea slug is sour like lemon to stop things from wanting to eat it. And then finally, how deep? Where in the sea do creatures live? Different animals have evolved to live at different depths in the sea. Some live at the top where it is light and easy to pop up for air. Other lives at the bottom where it's dark and spooky. Sunlit zone. Most sea creatures live here. This zone is close to the surface so it's bright and warm. Twilight zone. Fish in the zone have large eyes to see in the low light. It is home to sperm whales, giant squid, lanternfish, and viper eels. Midnight zone. Sea cucumbers, vampire squid, and frilled sharks live here. They have flappy bodies to cope under the weight of the water above them. Abyss. The Dumbo octopus lives here as well as lots of worms and snails. It is cold and covered in a sludge that falls down from above. Paddle zone. Deep sea trenches make the paddle zone. It is home to sea pigs, which are a type of cucumber. And then we're going to talk about the oceans in danger, and this is our last page, and how we can save the ocean. Oceans in danger. Is the sea in trouble? 
Most of the planet is covered in water, but we are not always good at taking care of it. There are many things that humans do that can damage the sea and creatures that live there. Big ships. Large ships spill harmful oils into the oceans. Their noisy engines make it difficult for sea mammals to communicate. Overfishing. Sometimes the fish are almost extinct because we have caught and eaten too many of them. Global warming. Humans have burned lots of fossil fuels warming up the planet. This means that sea levels have risen and seawater has become more acidic, making it hard for some sea life to survive. Plastic in the sea. How does our garbage pollute the sea? Lots of plastic garbage ends up in the sea. This harms animals and their habitats. We can help to stop this by using fewer things made from plastic. The breakdown. Unlike natural materials such as wood, plastic takes 400 years to break down. Danger. Sea creatures can choke on plastic garbage. Sometimes large fish eat lungs of plastic, which make them sick. Chemicals. Plastics contain harmful chemicals, which damage the seawater and other habitats of sea creatures. Well, after reading this whole book and learning about Under the Sea, I hope you had a good time um, and realized that all you can do um, to keep our sea creatures safe. And I hope you really like learning about Under the Sea.